Hey guys, it's me, Phoenix. We are going to do a in separation read. Uh, please do me a favor, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Remember, red hearts, you made it through. Purple hearts, it resonates. Green hearts, you're working on it. Yellow hearts, you rock with me. Got my six, me to have my back because I have yours. There you have it. We're going to pull from the breakup oracle deck, the love situation deck, the uh, broken mirror deck, the what lies beneath deck. Don't know the name of this deck, and I forgot the name of that deck. So there you have it. Let's see where you are in regards to being in separation with your person. You guys, the reason why we do the separation is to see where we have came, where we, we've grown, to see where and how we've grown, and to reflect back on that we can get through anything. This has nothing to do with the negativity in regards to what you went through. It's about how you were able to overachieve and overachieve uh, <laughs> to achieve something yeah somebody was pushing your buttons bottom of the deck family this could be in separation from family so there you go and fantasizing it says can't stop my mind from escaping to a world only you and i know so some at some point whoever or whatever was pushing your buttons you escaped to a different realm in the 5d in order for you to get through a certain situation so pushing buttons i do i do things to trigger you and it's the only way i know you care so this could be a friend person this could be you in separation from a family member that, you know, does stuff because they know your heart. They know that they can manipulate you into acting crazy. Yeah, because that's what we do. It's okay. Um, they can manipulate you into doing something that, you know, or, uh, out of character. And out of character means that, you know, you're basically, um, oh, well, there you have it, spazzing out on people because people are taking your kindness for weakness. And so that's kind of how I see that in love situation. We're going to go ahead and pull that. This could be, again, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. My desk is so dusty. Um, yeah, there you have it. That's what you know that I haven't really been in here. Divorce, alimony, termination, separation will be costly, mirroring, um, and complicated relationships. So mirroring is here. So family, mirroring each other, something needs healing, seeing yourself in them. So Something about how, why, and how you dealt with the situation wishes come true. It says wishes, wish fulfillments, all that you ever wanted. Dream boy slash girl or girl slash boy. Sorry, but anyway, that's what you've been fantasizing about. Is you know maybe having a kid or maybe just somebody stopped. You know, like just just have that dream of a relationship or a. Uh, where you and your significant other or family member can be one. And, you know, those, those, I want to be like the girls in the movies. Ashanti, you know what I mean? So, again, she's like one of the girls in the movies. Look at her now. She sung about it. Now she got what she wanted, right? And so the thing is, is that when it comes to, you know, somebody splitting up from a person, place, thing, or situation, just hear me out when it comes to this situation. You know, you, uh, envy, yeah, hater, spiteful, and jealous. When it comes to somebody, and, and let me, let me, yeah, guilt. Oh, okay, this is my ADD brain. But when it comes to you actually leaving a situation, somebody pushing your buttons and keep bringing that situation back up, a complicated situation that is still hurting you and still, you know, because they want to mirror your pain. They want you to keep, you know, uh, keep in that same energy of, of being in that pain. So it could be a family member that's envious or jealous, jealous of you, but they make you feel guilty and um, ashamed of what you went through and the way that you love. So that's kind of how I see that energy when it comes to this. You have to be the one to, um, you know, stop fantasizing on what could have been, what should have been, and stop feeling guilty in regards to how somebody is trying to make you feel of the unknown, right? Unknown, it says uh, unknown, stalking, hanging up, unknown number so somebody could be calling you and uh knowing that it's it's triggering red flags because you're thinking about oh look at that that's crazy you're thinking about what you and a person had and so somebody pushing your buttons could be them playing on your phone this could be from anybody you know a take what resonates leave what doesn't you could be getting all these unknown callers or all these different callers and thinking or uh, just say, for instance, with the election going on, the election was going on. And when the election was going on, we were getting all these different spam likely calls. And it was from the people in the election. But sometimes you would hang up because you would hear dead air. You are thinking, you know, the uh, thinking negative in regards to that could be such and such playing on my phone because they've been doing this. Or that could be somebody trying to see exactly what I'm doing, uh, tired of the drama. And so, therefore, your brain keeps going into, yeah. 
based upon the choices you make or somebody else makes, your brain keeps going into that uh, tired of the drama and blaming others and just making these stories of how you think somebody is playing games with you. And it's like the choices you make when it comes to let, allowing people to um, cross your boundaries or to uh, enter a space of making you feel some type of way. So again, bad choices, guilt, wishes come true and fantasizing about certain things, you know, whether it be negative or positive, fighting for what you want, what you love, getting a room, falling apart in private relationships. So you're like, what is this person doing or what what could be happening? Or maybe the person, family member, is telling you what this person is doing to make you fall apart. I don't know, take what resonates, leave what doesn't, but this could be a family member. This could be somebody who you deem or has been around you for a while, or this could be somebody telling your significant other, the other person that you were with, um, your situation or whatever, uh, pushing their button, saying that you're doing all this stuff when it's not that. And somebody is in a daze, consider, consider foolish and hesitant reincarnation, reflections, uh, cycles, and fate. So they keep, and this reincarnation to me is keep playing around and around, going over and over and over again and being foolish and not really growing up and really seeing, seeing what it is expressive mastery skills and charisma so you're you or this other person isn't able to express themselves when it comes to this type of situations and so therefore you have to be the one to understand that you know hurt people hurt people and you know those type of people that keep showing you because a real person isn't going to keep coming to you saying i seen such and such doing this i seen such and such doing that so the reincarnation is you being tired of the drama does that make sense? And so you being in a daze at one point is listening to what and why and how this person, letting this person push your buttons. They're pushing your buttons and you're just tired of the drama. So therefore, you just have to either, you know, understand, you know, that you can be foolish and you can, you know, uh, wonder what this person is doing or keep putting in your brain what or keep putting in your mind what could, what shoulda, woulda, coulda, but you never know if it did or not. You could keep playing those stories, love again. You can keep playing into those stories, yeah, disruption. Um, so, or you can move on with your life. So disruption, love begins is here. So, you know, when it comes to this energy, this is Cups energy, the Ace of Cups energy, you're starting over, right? You're starting over new relationships, your creativity. Again, it says that reincarnation, reflection, fate. And it's like you're starting over at the bottom of the deck here is expressive mastery skills and charisma underneath the bottom of the deck. That's the bottom of the deck. The disruption is here, card number 16, which is tower in the reverse. So this is telling me that you're starting over from the disruption of the past. And therefore, that means that, yeah, transformation has to happen. Card number 13, which is the death energy change. You have to be able to change the cycles and stop being foolish and listening to what everybody else is saying. And that's the reason why you have to just send strength and healing. Look at all these major arcanas coming out. Balance is here, which is uh, justice, doing the right thing. Card number 11, you have to have some type of balance, um, you know, tipping the scales of knowing that, you know what, you can't have your cake and eat it too, even though, look at that harmony. None of my cards are in the reverse. So that's just telling me you're, you can't let anybody, you have to have balance and you can't let anybody disturb your peace when it comes to you transforming and getting out of the situation. So the disruption was there, the lack of harmony or the lack of peace was here, which is you in the union card. Number six is the lover's energy. Um, it's you not following your heart. And so you have to be able to be the one to say, you know what? I cannot listen and be in a daze based upon what somebody is doing to push my buttons. The only thing I can do is practice my creativity and move forward. Shadow self, look, all of the major arcanas is coming out. Um, I will turn these over. Bottom of the deck is power, yeah. So you're taking your power back. Uh, card number eight is strength. You're recognizing your strength. You're, instead of reincarnating or, or redoing all of the different energies of the negativity, you're taking your power back and that's where you're recognizing your strengths because at some point, this is the eight of uh, wands energy, you were trapped, you know, uh, keep replaying, reincarnating, keep replaying the shoulda, woulda, coulda, but didn't. And now you're standing your ground, you know, um, and standing your grounds is the um, uh, seven of swords energy. Like you're understanding where the negativity could be at and what you're 
what and and you're like nope i'm not allowing this to happen fertility is here the three of um the three of the the empress energy you're recreating you're seeing the beauty in yourself and card number 21 is moving on with the um world energy so you're moving on from this underneath here is material harvest the nine of pentacles energy you are at this point to where you are basically making things work for yourself and that is the best thing that you could do is to allow things to work in your in your favor and not allow somebody to keep keep the drama going or keep playing games and keep pushing your buttons so that is where your wishes are going to come true uh when it comes to dealing with these situations and you're not going to hesitate anymore the days was the hesitation i always tell my kids every day look at the card that came out one of the yeah look ten of pentacles abundant legacy I always tell my kids every day, hesitation, look, wishes come true again. I think that's just where it is. You're going to be abundant. You're going to move forward from the situation and understand taking your power back, that wishes come tr true. And also quick communications garden back to where you are, eight of, um, right here, eight of wands energy. Um, you being trapped in fear, eight of wands energy, you're going to learn to communicate quickly when it comes to um, manifesting the things that you want, nine of cups energy, and also 10 years it took you close to 10 years to get to this point to where you are starting to really see what an abundant legacy is. You're not going to allow people to set, overstep their boundaries or to push your buttons. Um, you're not going to allow people to mirror the negativity that you went through in the past or to even bring that up because this is what rock bottom means to a cancer. This means that you have been able to oversee or to oversee. You have been able to um, overcome the negativity and stop hesitating and let allowing people to keep you in a daze based upon the sugar should have would have could have but didn't so you're you're not allowing the drama no more so that's the way you're tired of the drama and nobody's going to be able to push your buttons anymore and you're going to stand your ground you're going to communicate and that's the reason why the fantasies and expressing yourselves and having the material growth of the nine of um the nine of pentacles energy is you because you basically have looked at everything you're fighting for what you love and that's peace that's peace whatever somebody else is doing you're not going to allow that to make you fall apart you know the netflix and chill somebody sneaking around friends with benefits spending time with someone else you're not going to worry about that you're worried about fixing your life and having an abundant legacy and yeah they're going to think of you and they're going to understand where the red flags is and why you guys this relationship is terminated Terminated mar marriages, separation will be costly, complicated relationship. Why it was so complicated and why they keep trying to do things to figure out what it is. And why you, you know, at the same time, the people that are pushing your buttons, why and how they were able to do that to them and to you. So, you know, that is where you are. And in, in regards to the situation, I'm going to pull from the spiritual gifts to see what you're working on. Now, again, we have to unlearn to relearn, which is the Hierophant energy. Uh, the card that came out is remote viewing. So, yeah, somebody is looking uh, at you. Um, it says you're being called to explore gaining information about distant, unseen subjects, objects, and locations. So, again, you cannot figure out where a person is or going to be in a in not, or not be in a daze in regards to a private relationship. Shoulda, woulda, coulda, but didn't what somebody is doing. If they're thinking about you, you're not in that situation anymore. What you are doing is you're basically just moving forward from that situation and going from there. And palmistry is here at the bottom of the deck. You're being called to explore the physical features of hands to uncover a soul's challenge, path, and purpose. So you could be looking into different type of uh, um, situations to where, mm -hmm. you know, you're trying to see your, your chart and all these other things. But again, that's totally up to what you believe in. But it says you're being called to explore gaining information and distance, unseen subjects, objects, and locations. This is in the 5D. You're being able to look at things from the 5D and look at things in the past to learn from the past and to move forward. And coaching is here. It says you're being called to explore transformational mentorship to bring clarity, insight, and healing for growth and transformation. Back to transformation, which is right here, to have balance and learning, to have balance and transformation. Again, you know, this is you understanding and doing what's best for yourself, finding balance in a situation that, Somebody was once able to push your buttons and somebody was once able to bring drama to you and to make you overthink a situation, which is why the eight of wands came up. But if you see the eight of wands looks different from what it was in the beginning. So in the eight of wands doo -doo -doo -doo, here, it's trapped in fear. And the eight of wands, where's that? 
Do 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 do. Where is it at? Where is it at? Where is it at? Do 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 do. Where is trapped in fear, disruption? Um, it was underneath the bottom of the deck, right here. You're mastering the things. That, oh, eight of wands, right here. Quick communication. So you're being able to say what you want, mean what you say, and to uh, coach and let people know, even in the five D, that this is not what you're going to set your life around, and nobody is going to be able to mentally control you anymore. The difference of overthinking and not overthinking. So I think this was a really good read for you. You're not allowing people to push your buttons anymore. And now we're going to pull from the crystal deck, and then we're going to pull from the four agreements. If you want to know my perspective, click the links up above. You guys, I love you. I really appreciate you. I thank you for rocking with me. I was able to accomplish a goal within these last two years. And I just really appreciate that the lepidolite, 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 the lepidolite. So there you have it. And now we're going to pull from the four agreements. That's the crystal deck focusing on the chakras. And, um, yep, yeah, this is the, um, Four agreements, two cards came out, be impeccable with your words. Again, being able to speak and communicate, right? And also don't make assumptions. Don't make assumptions. That foolish, hesitant, considering and all in your head type energy of somebody pushing your buttons in the woulda, shoulda, woulda, coulda, you're not going to do that. So be impeccable with your words. Release the need to be right. Release the need to be right. It says when you believe something, you assume you are right. And you, you may even destroy relationships in order to defend your position. Let go of the need to defend your position. You're not defending your position with anyone, whether it be family or this situation or this relationship or whatever you want to call it. Your remote, remote viewing is you looking at it from a whole wide per perspective, you know, and that's why the universe is there. You're like looking at it. Look at these two cards, the universe. So you have the universe here and it has the remote viewing. You're trusting in the universe and you're looking at things from a different light and you're not allowing somebody to overthink or to make you be in the days or to, to always to kind of mirror that negative energy. You're not going to do that or allow anybody to push your button. So discern the truth. Don't make assumptions, right? So don't assume anything. Don't assume somebody is thinking of you. Don't assume they're cheating on you, sneaking around. Don't assume that somebody is getting room. They're having private relationships. You know, fight for what you love, which is uh, to be authentic, to be loving, to be understanding, to be able to communicate. To fight for those things and don't hesitate on communicating. So it says, the problem with making assumptions is that we believe they are the truth. We make an assumption, we misunderstand, we take it personally, then we react by sending emotional poison with our words. Remember, with our words, right? And it says, this creates a whole big drama for nothing. And underneath, again, the bottom of the deck is back to where you're learning to, instead of being trapped in fear, you're learning to communicate, but you're not communicating with anger. You're communicating with understanding and to be able to know if this is for you or this is not. So that's kind of how I see that energy. So the lepidolite says is the crown, the third eye, the throat, and the heart chakra. Or let me, so you can see it is a glare. The, the crown the third eye, the throat, and the heart chakra. It's awareness, transition, and balance. Again, back to balance, where we are, right? Balance is... Doo -doo -doo -doo. Where's balance at? Doo -doo -doo -doo. Doo -doo -doo -doo. I saw balance somewhere. Okay, right here, balance. Boop, 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 balance. So it is, I am emotionally balanced and filled with inner peace. And that is where you are. And that's why you're not allowing anybody to push your buttons. So nobody is going to be able to push your buttons anymore. And that's what the growth is. And that's what you have to unlearn to relearn your belief systems of the past and be able to move forward to a new belief system, whether it be tarot, whether it be palmistry, just to hear. Listen, in tarot, people can spew. So the power of your words. If I look at these cards and I say, oh, this is that. And this person gave, you're going to, you're going to manifest those types of things. If you, if I say, oh, this person went to jail, that's manifestation. You don't want that for anybody. I don't care if you're worst enemy or not. I'm not going to tell you how to manifest negativity. I'm going to tell you to learn from the negative past and to move forward. A jail card could be you mentally trapped in a situation. It's not actual jail. So if I put that as you listening to me for a positive word that you are, somebody is going to go to jail, then that's what you'll keep looking at and you keep reading. So I'm always careful with what I say. And I, I learned the power of manifestation and also the four agreements. And the power of manifestation is by uh, listening to the game of life and how to play it by Florence Goebel Sheehan. 
be careful with your words. Words are curses. And so if you keep spewing, which it says here, discern of the truth and releasing the need to be right. If you keep spewing negativity about a person, if that negative thing happens, you basically manifested that thing. And so I'm always careful with what I say and how I read these cards. And hopefully everybody else is, but you know, maybe they're not. So that's where you have to be aware of what pushes your buttons and what causes you to keep mirroring the cycles instead of learning from the cycles, if that makes sense. So you guys, I love you guys. Let's go ahead and uh, let this old energy go. Old energy of trying to, um, that what if energy. So I now let go of worn out conditions of lack, doubt, hate, negativity, procrastination, stagnation, sadness, generational curses, debt, bad energies, heartbreak, bad health, and addictions. Remember, addictions can be to a person, place, thing, or a situation. I love you guys.